Cuban Molly VR channel. Um, today, you guys are going to be checking out um, a game from Team Beef, Star Wars Jedi Knights 2, Outcast. Um, it's definitely available for the Pico and for the Quest 2, and I'm pretty sure they're working on the PC VR version. So, we'll definitely put the links in the description of where to go, and then you would have to sideload and purchase the original game from Steam, but you know, it's definitely worth it. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, definitely loving the support and the comments you're bringing, um, you're writing down below, definitely reading it, definitely try to get to all you guys and try to build up a community right here. So on that note, if you like what you see, definitely subscribe, hit the like button, definitely help a brother a lot. Anyway, anywho, so let me not take up more of your time. I know you guys want to see the gameplay, so we're definitely going to check it out. I'll come back, give you a review of it, and um, give you my honest opinion. So until then, uh, see you on the replay. Later. Yes, my master. So yeah, so <clears throat> first things first, right? So now what's so cool about this is that you could download the mods and you could download the add-ons. So let's go for a minute and check to see what they got available for a mod. So once you have like the complete game <clears throat> on Steam and then you transfer it over to your Oculus and you get the and you unlock the full game, then you can get the mods. So this is like the nemesis of Katarn. Let's see, what's this about? I guess if you click on it. I should tell you. Oh, see, like this is the demo right here. This mod, right? It's a single player mission. This is a short single campaign that can be completed in about an hour. So it's like different like mods and games. So say like here, they have you want to do waves with your lightsaber, I guess. With yeah, an intense lightsaber duels. We'll probably check that out. And then you have, what's this? Plot is brewing in the outer rim. Don't have to, let's see, that's another one. Let's see, what's the name for you about? Right, then they have like the, the Dark Alliance mod the sequel to the single player mainframe. So this must be the sequel to this one. And then I guess soon when, um, what's that, Jedi Academy comes out, there'll be a part three to that. So, so I guess it will continue on. Let's see. Go back to the mainframe. Yeah, this is the first of the trilogy of mods. All right. And what's this? I can't believe I downloaded this one. In the custom single player, you were find your way ship back immediately. See, like, so there's like add ons on top of the full game, which is pretty cool. So now, if we want to go back, close the window, and then go back here to <clears throat> let's try the add ons, right? So, you could put them in different skins for Kyle, the real sounds, the improved stormtrooper. You can get the bounty hunter look. And what else? <clears throat> but yeah, so <clears throat> so far, let's see what I downloaded. Let's see. All right, so the expanded menu. I believe I downloaded this, right? Spawner menu. So you got like different options. You can set up your own Star Wars scenes with this. Oh, this is a sandbox feature. Wow, this is pretty cool. All right, the sand, the sandbox piece allows the player to set up their own Star Wars scenes. Wow, that's really cool. Cheats unlock, full dismemberment unlock, blah, blah, blah. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. So when you look at it, let's try to. Yeah, so like you got a real sound. With the cinematic 
sound, so I know I downloaded this. Now when I close the windows, when you get the when you download the companion app, it's pretty cool. Because now let's see, I downloaded so there's Star Wars the game. So I did that. I put the Gen NPC replacement. Sounds approved. So before we even get to the main game of um, Jedi, I want to check out Dark Alliance. Let me see. Let's try, let's try to fix this right here. All right. So let's check out the Dark Alliance mod. Wait, no. You know what? Matter of fact, let's do the mainframe because that's the first. I'm curious to see how this looks. Okay, you know what? Who's there? Huh? Like it, don't. Time. Force 
push. Mm -hmm. Oh. Can I push? Oh, someone's trying to attack me from the side or what? Oh. sense of this game now. So far, amazing. Oh, this game is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With me? Oh, you're 
Rogers. Ah, what was that? Is someone there? Ah!
Yep, yep, yep. Bring him back. Cover our back. Okay, I'm here. Don't take all day. Wow. Something I remember now here, right? Uh, right, I didn't mean to go down here.
coming back.
You know, there's some parts I just don't remember. Interactive, I'll tell you that. My personal honest review, I love it. And um, I think this might be one of my favorite games on the Meta Quest 2. You don't have to take my word for it. You get to experience it for yourself, you'll see what I'm talking about. But I don't know which I have more fun, the lightsaber or actually just playing the game itself. But it's, uh, it's incredible. I love the sound effects. It really makes you feel like you're in a Star Wars film. Um, so, I guess until the next time, as I cool off, you know how I usually do, um, I'll see you on the next review. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm s still just thinking about the background and the experience. Yeah, that was an incredible ride. All right, later. Thank <laughs> you.